Hello everyone. We have here exponential equation. 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of 2x equals 1. And in here, we'll be solving for the real values of x that will satisfy the equation. Alright, and before we start, for those new to my channel, I would appreciate it if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much. Now let's start solving. What do you think would be the best approach to solve for the variable x? Can we do logarithm by checking the log on both sides of the equation, do you think? So in here, probably, we'll better off with uh, using substitution method. All right, so let's do that. Okay. 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of 2x equals 1. And from here, we're introducing a new variable to represent 2 to the power of x since these have the same exponent and the same base. The only difference, by the way, is the multiple of 2, right? The coefficient of the exponent x. So let's now define the new variable as y. So let y be 2 to the power of x. So the equation can be written the same way as 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x is squared and transposing 1 to the left side of the equation so this becomes negative 1 equals 0 so we're using the new variable y to stand for 2 to the power of x so the equation now becomes y plus y squared minus 1 equals 0 now, if you notice, the equation now becomes a quadratic equation. So from here, we arrange the terms of the equation. So y squared plus y minus 1 equals 0. To solve for the value of variable y, we're using the quadratic formula. From this equation, a is 1, b is 1, and c is negative 1. And the quadratic formula y is equals minus b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. All we have to do is just substitute these values to the equation. So y is equals minus b is 1, so minus 1, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so that is 1 squared, minus 4 times a is 1, and c is negative 1, divided by 2 times a is 1, so that's 2. So that's the value of y. Simplify this further. So this is now negative 1, plus or minus, the square root of 1 squared is 1, minus 4 times negative 1, and this is negative, so that's positive 4, divided by 2. So simplify further, we have now negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 4 is 5, all divided by 2. So that's the value of y. We have found the value of the variable y, and let's recall that the value of y is equal to 2 to the power of x, and we're using this value in place of y. So 2 to the power of x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus is square root of 5, all divided by 2. So in here, if you notice, 2 to the power of x must be a positive uh, value. And take a look at the root of 5. You got two roots of 5, positive and negative. So from here, we'll be taking just the positive root of 5. So we'll have a positive value for 2 to the power of x. So this is now 2 to the power of x is equal to negative 1 plus a square root of 5 divided by 2. So for the value of x, take the log on both sides of the equation. Log of 2 to the power of x is equal to log of this amount, negative 1 plus a square root of 5 divided by 2. Solving for the variable x, we're putting down variable x as a coefficient. So x 
times log of 2 equals log of negative 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. Isolating the variable by itself, dividing the whole equation with log of 2. So x now becomes log of negative 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 all divided by log of 2 and from here for the sake of checking our answer we need to have the numerical value of x so we have log of negative 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 all over log of 2 by using our calculator we have negative 0. 0.6942 that's the value of x we have to check our answer substitute this value to the original equation 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of 2x equals 1 and we have this value of x and we have here 2 to the power of x is 2 to the power of negative 0. 0.6942 and plus 2 to the power of twice the value of x is this equal to 1 and the first term 2 to the power of negative 0. 0.6942 is equal to 0 0.618 plus 2 to the power of twice the value of x of negative 0. 0.6942 that is 0. 0.3819 is this equal to 1 0. 0.6180 plus 0. 0.3819 is approximately 0. 0.99 and this approximately equal to 1. So this just confirms that the value of x is correct. So this is now our final answer. This is the exact value and this is approximate value. And so that's all for now. And for those new to my channel, I would appreciate it if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more exciting videos. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you for watching. I will see you on the next one. Bye.